Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to restore an old version of your website if, let's say, you mess up your website in one version and you want to restore it to a previous version where it wasn't messed up. For this example, let's say I accidentally delete a page. So let's just say I delete a page. Let's delete this story page real quick. And then I save and I publish. And now the story page is gone from our website completely. And if that was a mistake, let's say we want to bring it back without having to completely redesign it again. In order to do that, we can go up to site and go to site history. And then you're gonna see this little pop-up telling you what site history is. And we can go to site history. And now you'll be able to see all of the saved and published versions of your website right here. Now, since this is a new site for me, I only have three options. However, you might see like hundreds of saves right here that you have to scroll through. But let's say we wanna get that story page back. All you have to do is select to view this version and then we can check to see if this one has the story page. So we can click through it like a normal website. We can go to the story page and see that we have the story page in this version. So then all you have to do is press restore. It's gonna ask you if you are sure and you can press restore. And now that the version is stored, it's gonna say, do you wanna go edit the site from here? And we're gonna go ahead and press edit site. And now it's gonna open up the editor. And as we can see here, if we go to our pages, we'll see the story page is now restored on our website. But let's say we delete a page like this. Then we go to our locations page and we start changing the design. Let's, for this example, let's just change the color of some text. And let's say you do a lot of changes that you don't want to lose, and then we save and we publish it. But let's say after we deleted the page, we are satisfied with all of the other design changes that we made, and we don't want to have to redo that once we restore an old version of our site history. Here is what I would do. I would go back to my all sites dashboard. I would duplicate our site. I would call this one site history, like new designs. So now we have two versions of our site. This one's gonna have site history on it. This one, since it's a brand new duplicate, it is not gonna have any site history on it at all. However, this one is gonna have the new design and this one we are going to restore to the old version with the story page. So we are currently in the editor for the website without the story page. So what we're gonna do is come over to site, go to site history. We're gonna go to a previous version with the story page and we're just going to double check that the story page is still here. And then we're gonna press restore. So now we're in the editor with the story page, but now if we go to the locations and hours page, we're gonna see that the design is now restored to the old way where the text was black instead of green. But let's say you did some more complicated changes and you don't want to have to redo all those changes again. This is where the duplicate would come in. Now we're going to open up the editor for that duplicate with the newer designs. Then we're gonna to go to the pages where we made those updated changes. And let's just grab this full strip. We're going to right click, press copy. Then we're gonna come over to the site that we just restored and we're gonna right click and press paste. So now we have this green text design. We can go ahead and delete the other design and we'll just bring this one up in its place, just like that. And of course, if you did this for a lot of sections on your site, I highly suggest you do that and it saves you a bunch of time from having to redo a bunch of design work. But now that we have transferred all of our designs from the duplicate site to the new site, now we can go ahead and delete the duplicate website. But that basically wraps it up for the video today guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you guys again and I'll see you all in the next one.